2K lovers, this is your boy, Big Play Killer. I'm coming to give you a game review of, well, I should say, uh, what 2K needs to improve to ensure uh, players like me to buy the game again next year. Um, like I said, this year, this is my first time buying 2K in a long time. The reason why I brought it because Jordan was on the cover and Jordan's my favorite player, so I wanted to get a game with Jordan on it to show my kids or whatever who Jordan was because they, sometimes they forget about Jordan when they see LeBron and Kobe and stuff like that. But, um, all right, this game was, was a great game. I mean, this is the best basketball game I ever played. Now, let me say that at the beginning. But before we get into it, I mean, I'm not knocking 2K at all. I give them an a, a on their efforts and making a, a great uh, basketball game. But, okay, let's get to the things I say they need to improve on to make this game even greater. And to, to ensure me to buy it again next year. Alright. First of all. First and foremost. Because online play is crucial. Because this one you can always get your competition in. If you can't have anybody over your house. Online play is the best way to get some competition in. 3 o'clock in the morning. Whenever you want to play. So there, I think this needs to be a, a addressed first. The connection issue on online. I understand some games it takes a long time to connect but they have a countdown showing you how long you have to wait if you could add a countdown so it can show people like how long they have to wait and instead of you just sitting there waiting and not knowing if it's really connecting or not I mean a lot of people quit out of games because they don't know they think they didn't wait it too long and they could have just about two seconds away from connecting um, and it would be better instead of sending the invites if it was a box like uh a on deck box or something like two people could go into the on deck box and then you would like hit start and then they'll take you into the game that way you know okay I'm in here another guy's in here okay we're getting ready to play that would be good alright um sometimes I feel like online I'm playing like my guys just sliding around on the court like it's air hockey or something like like I really don't have any control over him on defense. Like my guy just and what happened to the thing where you could put your hands out? Two K you could put your hands out. I know that was on live. When you play defense you put your hands out, your arms out, and it was kinda of harder for people to just drive by you. And I think that that's a better feature than what we have going on. And sometimes when you try to put your hands up, like let's like say if you got y'all mean to try to just put both of your hands up in the air, it'll make you take a charge. Like, you have the charge button if you press, and then if you press to put the hands up, it'll still give you a charge sometimes. I don't feel like that's that's uh, fair. Um, the passing. Come on, 2K. We have to do something about this icon thing. I mean, it, the only way you can pass is the guy you kind of want to pass to unless you use icons. I really don't feel like that's fair. You should be able to... Like pass, if you see a guy wide open on the left hand side, you should be able to just throw the ball to him quick. Those seconds when you have to press another button to bring in the icon and then hit the icon, that can give the defender time to slide over and, and, and get in position. So 2K, I mean that's one major thing as far as just that gameplay. The passing needs to get corrected. Um, in dynasty mode, why in dynasty mode? My player mode or just dynasty mode? Like in and uh, the dynasty mode I had against one of my friends, I won the NBA championship. And damn near every guy on my team dropped, like, a lot. And I'm like, I got guys scoring, like, 15 points a game, uh, six assists and stuff like that. And these dudes are dropping every week. They're dropping a point every week, every week. And, I, I mean, I'm trying to get them working out, this guy working out. But it's like, what? Why are my guys dropping this fast? They don't gain this fast. Why are they dropping so fast? So that's another big thing I think need to get and rubbed on. Oh yeah, in the uh, levels. When I understand this, and this has been like this forever on sports games, on all sports games, EA, 2K. I understand this. Why, when you go up levels, like if you go on to play on the highest level on difficulty, why do your players slow down? It shouldn't be like that. It was like that ever since uh, Bulls versus Celtics. You shouldn't slow down anything. It should speed up. You always hear players talk about when they went to the NFL or NBA, I had to get 
adjusted to the speed of the game because the game got faster, not because it got slower. So, I mean, increase the AI, let them make more shots, whatever, but the game should get faster. That's when you're playing against another guy. If your guy is moving fast, it's easier to shake him or and now you have to make decisions faster. And that's the, all, that's the main thing about playing on a high level, making people make decisions faster. So let's try to speed up the game. Can we please? Well, hey, guys. That's just me. I'm only one person. Y'all let me know what you think. Am I, am I out of my mind? Am I lukewarm? And uh, if I left out any things, leave them in the comments. And I might make another video so we can try to get them all in. And uh, hopefully 2K will watch it and they can... Uh, implement some of these things into their next game because I want to play the best possible game and um, I mean if they upgrade their games like uh, EA is upgrading their games this year I wasn't going to buy EA games this year but I'm going to buy it now because I see the upgrades and if 2K does the same thing I'll buy it again next year For all you playing haters out there you tune into the sounds of the Southern Style DJs